Hi, Joy Kids. Today is March 18th, Thursday, and today's scripture comes from book of Matthew, chapter 24, verses 15 through 27. The prophet Daniel spoke about the hated thing that destroys. Someday you will see it standing in the holy place. The reader should understand this. Then those who are in Judea should escape to the mountains. No one on the housetop should go down into the house to take anything out. No one in the field should go back to get their coat. There will be terrible suffering in those days. It will be worse than any other from the beginning of the world until now. And there will never be anything like it again. If the time had not been cut short, no one would live. But because of God's chosen people, it will be shortened. At that time, someone may say to you, Look, here is the Messiah, or there he is. Do not believe it. False messiahs and false prophets will appear. They will do great signs and miracles. They will try to fool God's chosen people if possible. See, I have told you ahead of time. Lightning that comes from the east can be seen in the west. It will be the same when the Son of Man comes. Amen. So joy kids, go meditate and come back. All right, well, come back. So today's message title is called, I'll Be Back. I know you guys probably thought of one of the movie, but yes, the title is I'll Be Back. And continuing from what we talked about yesterday, you know, God tells us exactly what's going to happen during the end time and the end time of the earth, right? And Jesus will come back as his second coming. And during that time, you know, what will happen is what we talked about yesterday, that Christians will suffer. And Jesus continues to tell us about what will happen. And even before Jesus, right, there's a book called Daniel in the Old Testament. And this was written way before Jesus was even born. And it tells us about the end time. And end time means Jesus' second coming is getting closer. The end time of this earth is getting closer. And everything will be ended during the end time. And there will be a judgment, as we mentioned yesterday, whether we believe in Jesus and have him as our Father and Savior or not. Now, all the believers right, who have the Holy Spirit will be going to heaven, and those not will be going to hell. And God is also saying during that time, Christians, there will, we're going to suffer. There will be terrible suffering, they said. And then more than that, God tells us that people, there will be fake teachers, fake people who say that I am Jesus, but they're not really Jesus. They're going to do miracles, but they're not really Jesus, right? And that's something that we have to be careful of. Boys and girls, if you hear someone saying that they're Jesus, and even though they do miracles and they do amazing signs, they're not Jesus. Jesus will come during the end time, and everyone in the world will know it's Jesus. So even if someone does miracles, even if they do amazing signs, even healing people from sick and raising people from dead and they if they say they're jesus don't believe that right because that's a lie and bible tells us about it but something that you need to remember is that i know some of you guys might be scared of hearing that during the end time right we're gonna suffer but you don't need to worry because one thing you need to remember is that god knows everything And God already told us what's going to happen during the end time. And God already warned us about what will happen. And something that is good is that God knows and God sees that we, even when we are suffering, God knows and God is with us. And that's something that we should not forget. And during the end time, you know, Satan and all third people, they're going to lie to us. And the Bible, as we read, said they're going to even try to make fool or fool people, those who are even chosen by God. And, you know, you all are who are listening to this are chosen people of God. 
If you have Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you are a chosen people. And you have the eternal life with you once we die. But those people who does not have that, and those people who are, you know, fooled by Satan and fake Jesus, they're going to try to make you not believe in Jesus. They're going to do everything to make you stop from believing God or having him as your Lord and Savior. And so, boys and girls, I challenge you to hold on to Jesus. You know, even if there, we're going to be faced with suffering, one thing you have to remember is that you're not alone. I'll be suffering with you, right? And all other Christians will be. Yet, God knows this. And God loves you guys more than anyone else. And once we go through that, we'll be in heaven having an eternal life in heaven rather than eternal suffering. Right? So I would love for all of you to join me in holding Jesus and having him as our good father, Lord and Savior. Let me read the potter's will. It said, Jesus talks about the end time. In those days, everyone will suffer because there will be too much evil. Some evil people will try to trick God's chosen people. Some will even pretend to be Jesus. But when Jesus really comes back, the whole world will see him from the sky. At the end, Jesus will come back to save God's chosen people. So today's question is, how will people try to trick those who believe in Jesus Christ? How will fake Jesus or people who say that they are Jesus come and trick those who believe in Jesus Christ? Comment below. Let me read the prayer um, that's written. And let's pray. Dear Jesus, sometimes I feel sad. Also, there are many people suffering around me. But Jesus, we all have hope because you are coming back soon. We wait for you. Dear Heavenly Father, God, as you promised us, you will be coming back. And Lord, even though there are, are may be sufferings, and even though there will be fake people who say and try to fool us that they are Jesus, help Joy Kids so that we may know who is a fake person and who is real Jesus. Lord, we love you so much. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.